on to 819. So, nothing really happening in the video game industry. And yes, we will be playing both Cyber, Cyber Bomber, Cyberpunk, and Persona 5 Royal. I mean, this one only takes a couple of minutes a day. Or most days, it's only going to take a couple of minutes a day anyway. Every once in a while, no, but you know, most days, it's only going to take a couple of minutes. Either way, nothing to really report about the video game industry that I didn't already mention in um, Bomber Cyberpunk's episode, so we're just getting straight into it. And I'm so fucking broke. I'm also running out of social links to do. It is an unfortunate situation. So I think, even though I don't have Ardrena anymore, I should still get the extra stat buffs from having a fortune in my inventory, right? Six going on seven. When last time? Uh, still verification test. Do you remember what happened last time? Chairman uh, Fukurai visited me. If you have some time, can you stick around and chat for a bit? Yes. Okay, I still get it. Good. Hang out with her. Um. Do, do, do. Without masking. Um. Do, 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 do. Where have I been? Mm -hmm. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I've been thinking a lot about our last meeting, and I wasn't completely honest with you. I decided I'm going to tell you everything about Fukurai-san, as well as the real reason why I decided to leave my village. I, I told you that I'm from a small traditional town tucked away in the mountains, right? Well, when I was young, I predicted a major earthquake. The villagers revered it as a messenger of God, but then I kept it predicting disaster. They started blaming me for everything. They said I was cursed, a monster. Also, the absol treatment. <laughs> So, if you don't know, um, let me check if... I know it was Gen 3s? Give me a second. Absol. Alright. So... Do, 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 do. Ah, here we go. So, it was a Gen 3 Pokemon, right? And its entire thing is that it was able to... It was able to predict disasters, but because it was ev there every single time, people thought it brought disasters. Its ruby entry is, every time Absol appears before people, it's followed by disasters such as an earthquake or tidal wave. As a result, it came to be known as the disaster Pokemon. Abs uh, Sapphire, Absol has the ability to foretell the coming of natural disasters. It lives in harsh, rugged mountain areas. This Pokemon very rarely ranges down the mountain. Emerald, it surely senses subtle changes in the sky and land to predict natural disasters. And alone the Pokemon that has a lifespan of 100 years. Fire red and leaf green. It appears when it senses impeding disasters as a result of some mistaken as a Doombringer. So, basically because it's predicting them, it gets blamed for the, uh, the, the actual incidents. When in all actuality, what it's doing is saying, hey, there's about to be a disaster. <laughs> so, yeah, same thing here. So I myself away. People would still come by and throw stones through the window, though. Mm. Things went on like that for some time until one day an angry mod came and burned down the house. What the fuck? That's why I decided to come to Tokyo after graduating high school. I wanted to change my fate. I didn't know anyone, but I needed money, so I took up the first job I could find at this one nightclub. I found myself surrounded by brainless people. That's when Fukurasan approached me. Um. He's like too, you know. He knew from a mere glance that I was a runaway who had come to Tokyo. Then once I told him I decided to leave my village, he immediately invited me to join the ADP. That was when he gave me the moniker Maiden Relief. He told me I possessed the divine power to save others from misfortune. That I could become more than the monster people saw me as. You know, <laughs> I'd hope that the disasters would keep happening. And it'd be like, oh, wait, it wasn't her. She was actually just predicting us. Uh-oh. Hey, you want to come back? No. Fuck you. Suffer. I broke down <laughs> the uh, moment he said that. <laughs> Deep down, I know a lot of the Holy Stones didn't have any power. But I thought I might be able to save people even though I was a monster. Or perhaps because I was a monster. You're not a monster. <laughs> I only to ever sold those holy stones for my own personal benefit. Terror person, huh? I don't think so. You want people to not hate you. I feel like that's a very reasonable thing. What? My fortune said you were supposed to hate me. I never thought you'd overturn even that fate, Amiya san. Why would I. Made up my mind. Why would I. Dude, no. You know what? I'm gonna see. I see now how wrong I was. I'm not gonna keep turning a blind eye to injustice. I'm gonna expose the chairman's fraudulent activities and wake the other members up to truth. Thank you There's, very much. No problem. If there's anything you need to talk about, I'm glad to return the favor, my Museon. Uh, I'm a Mia-san. Is it this one that lets me? 
Provides a preview of all abilities for a confidant of your choice. All right. I can't remember which. By getting your fate read, you can find out a confidant's future abilities. That one's honestly pretty fucking useless because that's like you can just that's one you can just pull up a guide to figure out. But I guess if you're going guideless, eh? The ADP holds what they call seminars for believers, but it's really just brainwashing. That's why everyone thinks they'll be unhappy without a holy stone. Honestly, I don't hold any sway there, even though I'm made in relief. Just who is the chairman? Well, let me think it over some more. We can talk further next time. Thank you. It is crazy. The the level of power that cults will have, man. I don't want to be mean when I say this, but what's the le real, logistic, real reason between a cult and a religion? Like, honestly, when you really boil it down. Like, I'm not trying to insult religion, but like... What's the real difference? Mia-san, please hear me out. Now that I think about it, I barely knew anything about the chairman, nor the ADP in general. So I'm thinking of doing some research on the ADP first. I've done turning a blind eye. Are you going to be okay? Because tackling Colts is scary work. Are you worried about me? <laughs> that kind of makes me happy. But yes, I'll be alright, as long as I have the trust of my clients and believers. And they're in relief, after all. For now on, I'll see you with my own two eyes, rather than through cryptic fortunes. I'll let you know if I find anything, so please, promise me you'll come by again. Now, I should be going. Good luck. Soon, I'll be able to go back to Mementos. Alright, what are my options? Uh, Yusuke. I can do Yusuke, because I actually have the level 4 proficiency now. And Kasumi. No reason to hang out with you. Do I have an Emperor? I do have an Emperor. How's my... That's still good. Okay. Yusuke wants to hang out? Nope. Sorry, On. I need to race up On through the thing. Underground walkway. All we do now is wait. What a nerve-wracking time. By the Meanwhile, way. I'm here to observe the public and attempt to refresh my mind. Do you need something? Can see you. <laughs> you must have a wealth of free time if you have that decision. Yes. Before I continue, though, what is my confidant with you? Is it six or seven? It's five. All right. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I do have enough in the stat, right? Yes, okay. Just making sure I have enough proficiency. Hang out with him. I'm in oh, your debt. It seems the answer may have been right under my nose the whole time. We'll see soon enough. Follow me. Yes. God, I love the music of this game. It's so fucking good for no good reason. This place hasn't changed in the slightest. It feels nostalgic. Indeed. I haven't come back here since I moved away. The truth is, despite my best efforts to convey the meaning of the heart, I am no closer to understanding it. Such a troublesome roadblock. Never presented itself to me while I was living here. As you know, I spent most of my young life in this house. This is why we have it come now. I wish to reevaluate myself within its decrypted walls. By coming to this place, I may be able to rekindle the passion for art I once held. The passion of inquiring mine on the hunt for pure beauty before I learned of Madarami's foul nature. Hmm, it won't open. No, I surely looked it unlocked. What? The door was be? jammed? I suppose it's quite an old door to begin with. It had begun to rust even while I was a pupil here. It seems to have finally broken. We should get it fixed. No. This is a nice idea, but I am unfortunately not the owner of the house. I cannot call a locksmith. I wish I could fix it myself. But I struggle with mechanisms as complex as this. I do not have the steady hand required to mend them. Bullshit! Oh, you're oh. capable of fixing it? You never cease to amaze me. I can paint some of the most beautiful art you've ever seen. Doesn't have a steady hand. Be off. Bullshit! I this comes to everything. You know, I lived here from not long ago. Yet it feels almost like the distant past at this point. Being here has brought back memories, though. Whenever I acted out of line, I was made to sit calmly in that corner. Uh, over there was a bookshelf filled to the brim with various tomes. It contained art compilation books for the most part, but there were a few manga tucked away as well. 
At times I would take a break from my art and hide and read them. This is where I would go together to eat with the when the atelier still had a large people count. Sensei is particularly fond of salty food, so <sighs> what am I saying? Why do I treat him as my mentor? How long will I allow him to control my life? You're not looking so good, mate. My apologies, I'm merely a little confused at the moment. The truth of the matter is, I used to paint in this room, and I did it simply for the joy of painting. No matter what I took a, my subject, my hand would move with their own accord to capture its essence. But back then, I only saw the superficial beauty of the world. I could not see the grim grime beneath. After learning the truth behind modern armor's actions, though, everything's changed. I strove to fight back against the newfound monkeys I saw, to display my talent to those who mocked me. I needed to do whatever it took to validate my artistic ability. In that search for meaning, darkness took a hold in me. How could this be? Ultimately, I began to emulate that which I had so deeply despised in Matarame. <sighs> you know, Boss told me something very interesting when I was staying with you one night at the block. He said he didn't believe Matarame took me in for my skill alone. I suppose now that I think about it, there would be no way to know whether or not I would have been talented. Right. Why do you think Matarame decided to take me in? It's kind of... Basically, it's kind of like, yeah, he's he's he is an asshole, but he's not he's not completely garbage. Maybe he was sympathetic. Hmm. So, we return to matters of the heart yet again. It truly is a mysterious beast. Even after learning the ugliness of his true nature, a part of me still believes in my poor mentor. I simply cannot come to terms with the stark dualities that presented to me. The humble house in that loathsome palace. The kind teacher, Venus deceptive artist, it seems even working my own heart is or I I inex inexplicable? There we go. What then of my search for pure beauty? I was a math teacher. I was a teacher, I promise, I swear. Hello? There's someone there, I'm coming in. This is a problem. Uh, could that be the police? Ah, uh, I was wondering who could have been in here. You're you're the man from the exhibit. Indeed. Thank you for your conversation back there. More importantly, though, why are you here? I couldn't help but notice the door was open on my way home from work. Were you perhaps still caught in your slump? How do you know about that? Yes. I know a great battle about you, Yusuke Kun. You made a name for yourself as pattering your work after the beautifully detailed Sayori. But that painting in the exhibit was quite different from that. Have you begun trying out new styles? If you like, I can advise you. Materials, themes, etc. You seem as though you could use a helping hand right now. I. Also, you're paying in return while leaving this residence, correct? Your lack of patron must be what's holding you back. Please, take my card. I make a living investing in promising artists like yourself, Yusuke Kun. Oh. Director of the Japanese Arts Support Foundation? Is that a real thing? I mean, kind of. Wait. Yeah, Japanese Art Foundation. Oh, it's in Chicago? Huh. Apparently a real thing, but it's a Chicago-based thing? Yeah, the Japanese Arts Foundation of Chicago. Huh. Alright. <laughs> Apparently there's one of those things, but it's a Chicago-based thing, not a normally Japan-based thing. Go figure. Why are you chosen me? You criticized me so hard to you back at the exhibit. Because I feel you have talent. Now, my foundation can provide you an environment that will allow you to focus on developing your skills. But if you have a lifestyle interest, if such a lifestyle interests you, we can talk further on a later date. As for today, I have business I must attend to. But I hope to hear from you soon. That's, I know it's a really bad old man, I'm yes. sorry. Japanese Art Support Foundation. My opportunity may have finally arrived. And it was all because you opened that door for me. It seems you have a good luck. It's simply characteristic computers. I'm in your Dude, debt. my luck stats OP. What you know about it? I'm the fool, baby. Give my thanks, leader. Chance to cure status is afflicted upon party members. All right. Again, Yusuke is honestly, Should even if you don't use home. Yusuke's card function, you desperately want to get him maxed out. Let's be going now. I'd like to think on this some more. See you. Farewell. Huh. That's neat, I suppose. <laughs> I apologize, Ren. I lost my composure today. The emotions I felt in that house still remain with me to this day. 
I do think it's a good thing that I was able to realize all this. By the way, that gentleman, Kawanabe, what was it? What's your impression of him? He has a certain dignity. I suppose. I had no idea he was the director of art support, but he definitely has a certain presence to him. And he was able to instantly pinpoint my weakness. He certainly is no ordinary individual. As someone with neither a home nor patron, I couldn't ask for a better offer. On top of that, I may be able to find a way out of my slump once I fully focus on drawing. In any case, this deserves serious thought. I may come to you for advice again. few degrees cooler dude it just recently started getting down into like the low 90s and 80s where i am all right what are my options for today kawakami let's go do i have a temperance on me no Red light district. Can I maybe bullshit a temperance? Oh, it's raining. Fuck. Alright, can I maybe. Great, I'm wasting money that I do not have. Can I. Just, just anything. Just maybe anything. Can I just bullshit a temperance of some kind? Preferably a new one. You wish to perform enough, let us begin the search. No new temperance. What's my cheapest temperance? Finished for now, Justine. These are the paths you have walked. What's my most expensive and my most cheapest temperance? Most expensive is 13k, which I do not have. I guess we'll just go with this one. God, it hurts how broke I am. I need to go back to Mementos. But I'm, I'm trying to min-max. I'm trying so hard to min-max. It's getting harder and harder by the day. Ugh. That's 320 yen that I do not have. By the way, when you return, we are going to hang out with the, uh, Kawakami for 5,000 yen. Ouch. By the way, I want everyone out there to have a good morning, evening, day, or night, wherever you're at. But for right now, I am out. Later.